In this video, we're gonna create some vector animation using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So we have a really cool tutorial today because this is the type of content that leveled me up as a motion graphic artist. And that is working with Adobe Illustrator, creating vector icons and animating them inside of After Effects. Knowing this process and how to create vector objects is going to really increase your skill set as a motion graphic artist. So this is gonna be a very fun tutorial and very easy to follow along with. So you need Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. And before we jump into this tutorial, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. Also, with purchasing a soundtrack for your next project, each song allows you to choose from the full track, loop sets, and even shorter variations of the song to make sure every song fits the duration of your project. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. All right, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator and we have a variety of vector objects right here. And I'll showcase what a vector object is in a second. Now, I'm not gonna show how to create vector icons from scratch because you know I really wanna get into the animation side of this, but if you wanna obtain vector objects like this, you can get them for free. So I use a website called freepick.com and there are literally thousands of different icons available. So you can do vector icon on the search up and you can just click on any of these files and you can download them for free. And I will link this specifically in the video. The only downside to this is that these are not really gonna be used for commercial work unless you give them credit. So when you have your file downloaded, you need to navigate to that folder and there will be a, usually a couple of files. Sometimes you'll have an Illustrator file, but, but most of the time you're gonna have an EPS file. And what you need to do is right click it and go to open with, and of course it's a little bit different on you know Mac, but you need to open it with Adobe Illustrator. And it'll open automatically here in Adobe Illustrator. And now we have all these icons available. Now we could bring this into After Effects, but we need to start separating this and creating some organization. So what we'll do first is we'll grab a couple icons that we want. So I know I want this cloud icon. I can just click it. Sometimes you might have to control click it. But for the most part, this is what you have to do. Select your object, copy it. So you go to edit, copy, and then you go to file, new. And you'll want to create like 1920 by 1080. I like creating documents that are the same size of After Effects composition. So 1920 by 1080 works for me. And we'll click create. And then all you do from here is you go to edit, paste. So here's our vector object. And let's showcase what a vector object really is. So if this was pixels, if we scaled it up, it would be completely pixelated. But since this is a vector, there is absolutely no pixelization when you scale it up or downward because it's geometry based. It's not you know, pixels. So this is the power of vector objects. You can make them as big or as small as you want without losing any fidelity. So this vector object's ready to go. What we do is go to file and we click on save and we need to save this so we can call this one vector cloud and we click save. And now, and click okay. And now we can go select some other icons in here as well. So now I'll grab this rocket. We can copy it and we'll do the same thing, new document, and then we'll paste it in there and we can scale up if we want beautiful and save it. So now our design is done in Adobe Illustrator and now we can bring it over to After Effects to animate. Effects, And this is kind of how we're gonna have our vector icons laid out, but we'll come over here to a tutorial composition. And the only thing we have in here is our title and a background, which isn't the focus of this video. So you can import your Illustrator vector objects like you would import any other type of media by you know dragging it into your project window and it'll automatically be over here on the left side. And all we have to do from here is, you know, like any other piece of media, drag in our vector. We can bring it here at the top. And here is our cloud that we created. And from here, what we can do is we want to make this a little bit bigger. We can S on our keyboard for scale and we can scale this up. So one, we can see that this doesn't scale from the center. So we can grab our pan behind the tool and we can grab our anchor point right here and try to center this up as best we can. And now it'll scale from that center point like that. Now also take a look here. So this is now pixelated and we said that this was a vector object, right? So what we want to do to make sure that After Effects knows this is a vector object, there's this little icon right here, which is a continuously rasterized. We just want to check that onto our box, and now you can see the difference. Boom, vector object, pixels, vector, pixels. So we want to obviously keep it as a vector object. And then we can scale this into place, and we're not losing any you know, data at all. So from here, it's really more a matter of graphic design skill set more than it is about animation at the moment. But we come here and we place this right here. Okay, cool. So now we have our clouds here. 
And let's say we wanted to have separate data for both these clouds. So you can see that these are technically two objects. So what we can do here, we can right click this vector layer and we can go to create and click on create shapes from vector layer. And it'll automatically turn off our vector layer there and it'll come here to a shape layer. We can open the shape layer, go in the contents and we see that we have two groups here. And obviously I can hide one cloud and hide the other one. So now we have this into a shape layer inside of After Effects that we can individually animate. And you know, we come here to transform group one and we can see that, oh wow, we can move this separately. That's awesome. So this is how you can have complete control over vector objects. So from here at the top, we come here to fill and we can change the color to white, you know, so white clouds, boom. Now, before we do any animation, I want to bring in some of these other objects and finish out the design before we do that. So we'll come here, bring in, uh, say, our rocket. And instead of converting this to a shape layer, let's just go to effect generate fill. And sometimes you can get away with this as well. And we can just change the color of this and we can move this into whatever place we want. We can hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we can rotate this scale it down and obviously we can quickly build out a scene like this so i went ahead and placed out the rest of our icons and like i said it's more of about placement from a graphic design perspective at this point before you get into the animation and one thing i want to show is let's take a look at the color here so let's just say we didn't want to use generate fill maybe we have specific you know vector objects that have different colors and the generate fill effect is just not going to work what you can do is always go back over to illustrator maybe we just want to change the color of the actual rocket here we can just do that very easily, select a color. Perhaps we want this to be like a, a light blue or something. And all we have to do here is save our icon and all we have to do is jump back over to After Effects and it updates automatically. And with a little bit of adjustment, you can quickly change colors of your object very fast. Now let's go ahead and jump into the animation of this so we can start animating these icons. So what we can do here is say start with our clouds. We can go back to that shape layer for the outline and we go right into the contents and we can animate each group here with a transform group. And maybe we'll add a keyframe for scale. We can move this keyframe forward in time by like a couple seconds or so, maybe by a second, and bring the scale down to 0%. And boom, we get the scale like this. And we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then we go to group two, and we'll do the same thing for the transform group two there. Add a keyframe for scale, we'll move it forward in time. And then we'll set the scale down to 0%. Make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now you have this individual animation just like that, and that looks cool. And you get really creative with the animation here. So let's take our rocket here, and we can put it underneath our clouds. And right when these animate in, I would like this to shoot out from the clouds. So what we do is hit P on keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for this. We'll move it forward in time. And we can bring this rocket, say, underneath our cloud there to hide it, and it'll shoot out like that. Perhaps we'll do it on this side. That looks good. Make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And then all we have to do go to the first keyframe and bring our endpoint in so it won't be there so boom our rocket just comes out that looks pretty cool when doing animation like this the animation possibilities are pretty much limitless you can do whatever you want however when you have to create a video that's like three four five minutes long which i've done many times in the past this stuff will take you days to do because you have to lay it out and then you have to animate it and animating can take a lot of time so i actually have this plug in here that i'd like to show you guys i'll drop a link in the video description i only suggest this when you're working on projects that are going to take you you know a handful of hours or even a couple days to do this is called animation composer and these are animation presets that i can easily apply to my layers inside of After Effects. So I can come here to our 2D layer transformations and I can find, you know, specific animations that I would like. So, so perhaps I'd like to go to the rotate and scale transform folder and I can find an animation that I like and I want to apply this to the cogs. So I can select our cog here, grab our animation and apply it as in. And now, boom, that gets animated within a second and I can select an, my other cog here, bring in another animation preset and apply as in. And just within a second, I was able to animate those cogs in just very quickly with a drag and drop. I can offset these in time. And then I got another icon here. And let's say we, I want to do a position animation. I can come in here and I want this to drop in from the top. So I can open up this folder and drop it as the top, apply it as in, and now boom, download. And that's pretty cool. It allows us to animate these things really quick. And within this pack, there's over 1,000 2D layered animations. So you really have a huge variety of what you can do. And also for titles, there's also a thousand title motion presets pack just for titles here. So we have titles over here and I can animate per characters, lines and words, and I can find you know specific things that I liked like before. I can find animations that I liked before. So maybe I like this bounce position and I'll apply it as in. 
we we're able to put this vector animated scene together in a very clean fashion and we were able to save a lot of time with Animation Composer as well. So if you're interested in learning more about Animation Composer, go ahead and check our links in the video description. So that wraps up our vector animation tutorial. If you need more help with this topic, go ahead and check our links in the video description. We did a video a couple of months ago on cartoon animation with this exact workflow so you can continue to increase your skill set with this workflow. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. And also, you can hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creating.